All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gordon Guitar Soul. We have Sasha Keeble here and Georgia Smith. This collaboration, and they gave us a song called Killing Me. I like this song very much. It's a cool one, a very soft and kind of mysterious like that. So, yeah, uh, we need to set our capo here on the second fret. And we have, I believe, six chords to learn. Yeah, six chords. So let's start with those. Uh, first one is the F major 7. It's like that. So um, that is the third here on the D string. The second on the G string. The first on B string. And open on E string. The next chord here will be A minor at 9. It's a difficult name there. And the chord looks like this and sounds like that. Very beautiful chord here. So that is uh, open A string, second D string, fourth G string, first B string, and open E. And I can tell you, you won't need to actually take the chord like it is in this way, because we will learn a strumming here, or sorry, a picking here. So uh, you won't need the fourth here, but that's just the chord, how it looks like, okay? So next chord will be D minor nine. Looks like that, and uh, sounds like that. So open D, second G, first B, and open E. Next chord here will be B minor 11. So pretty strange chords in this song here. So that is second on the A string, third on the D string, second on G string, open B and open E. The next chord will be E7. So open E, second A. Open D, first G, open B, and open E. And the final chord we need to learn is the A. Like that. So, open A, second D, second G, second B, and open E. Yeah, so those are the chords. And um, like I said, a couple of these chords we won't actually need to, um, to hold as they are. We will um, hold maybe a part of it uh, since we have this picking patterns in this song. So it starts off here with uh, an intro, which is also played in the first verse. And it sounds like this. So pretty easy there. It's based upon the F, uh, sorry, the the A minor at nine and the F major seven. Yeah, in that order. So uh, how do we play it? It's played like that. Open A string, second D string, first B string, open E string. That's the part that belongs to the A minor chord here. All right. And then you just hit the second on the D string and the third on the D string. And that is the part that is based upon this F major seven. So, And when I play this second on D string to the third D string, I don't actually hit the string two times there. I hit that on a, on the first one, the second on D string, and then, ju then just hammer on uh, on the third D string there. So like this, only one time. And I hit it on the third D string. Gives you a softer feeling, not that uh, chunky if you would just hit the uh, the string on both 
the second and the third fret there so that's just a tip there to get the right the great good feeling here for this song so okay so you're gonna play from this uh, a minor to the f here if that is one chord progression so to speak in this song you will play that for four rounds there so a minor f a minor f a minor f a minor f so this melody here will be played for four times for the first verse okay then uh, we are at the first chorus there i need to be loved by myself and that one starts first i can go through the chords here it starts with the d minor 9 then this uh, b minor 11 and the e7 and then a minor at 9 then F major 7, A minor at 9, and F major 7. And the last chords there will be the same pattern as we just learned. But let's start from the beginning there with the D minor 9. We have this picking that is based upon this chord. So it sounds like this, and I'm going to show you how to play it later. So it sounds first like this. Okay. Like that. So that is open D, second G, and then you play the first B together with the open E. Then you play the third D, and again the first B together with the open E. So slow, it will sound like this. Okay, then we have the B minor 11, and uh, that sounds like this, only. So that is the second on the A string, the third on the D string, the open B, and the open E. And then we have the E7. You just grab these strings together one time. And the strings are open E together with the open D and first G. So, so far in the chorus, the part D minor 9, B minor 11 and E7 sounds like this slowly. then comes two rounds of the melody we learned in the verse there. Okay, so that was the first chorus there. Then the next verse will be played in the same way as we played in the first verse. And uh, the same goes there for the second chorus. We will play that in the same way as we learned right now this first chorus there so first uh, sorry the second verse and second chorus will be just repetition there from what we just learned then after the second chorus comes right after a third chorus and um, yeah it's of course in the lyrics i need to be loved by myself it's okay to ask for help and so on uh, from here it will be played in the same way uh, like the other choruses here, but you, um, if you wish, you, if you want to play like it's in the song here, uh, you will need to add extra notes from the chords there. So, um, what what I mean by that, I mean it's no point for us to try to learn the exact way of playing here, since at this point uh, it varies every time. Kind of you play this song. Uh, and yeah, it should do because it's more by feeling here. So use the same chords and use the same um, picking patterns. But if you wish, um, you can add some extra notes from the specific chord that is used there. So for D minor, 
you can add some extra strings there and the same goes for the B minor 11 and, uh, and the E7. Like this, for instance. Uh, it's up to you to make it um, your own song here. Um, since it's, I mean, it's almost impossible to teach out exact every note played in a song like that. So, yeah, it's basically the same way of playing the, this chorus like the other choruses. Uh, but with this uh, extra here, play us, yeah, if you wish, some extra notes on the, from, the, from the chords you're using. All right. So after this third chorus comes the third verse. And um, it's the same. But uh, at this point now, in the third verse, we, uh, we want to have this beat, which starts here in the song. There's a beat going on there. So um, when we're playing the, the chords here, the A minor at nine and F major seven uh, with this melody, we want to bring in the clap here. So uh, for us to get, get the clap and the beat, it will sound like this. So what we do there, we play the same melody, exactly the same melody, and right after this open E string on the A minor part, you hit it with a clap, and then you play on the D string, second and third, and right after the third, all right. The first clap come right after, and on the second clap, there's a short break, and then clap. Break, clap. Clap. Yeah. So that's the feeling and the rhythm. All right, so it goes on for exact same amount of times so there, four rounds of this melody in the third verse. Then we hit the fourth chorus there. And um, yeah, this one, since we have brought in the, the clap here, uh, you should go on with this for the fourth chorus here. So it will be more focused here on the chords and the, the beat here, the claps here more than just playing the single notes which we learned in, in the first course there, how to handle uh, the D minor 9 and uh, B minor 11 and E7 and that. So you can use the, the notes there. So for instance, um, the D minor 9. Like that, for instance. So uh, what I do there, I play the, and I hit the clap there, and then, and clap. And the same goes for the, the B minor 11, it goes like, like this, and clap right after, and the E7, and clap. But if you miss on some of these notes, it's not a big deal. Uh, the more important here is to get the right chord and to hit the beat here. So if you miss a couple of these strings after, because uh, you, you want to have this clap and everything, uh, yeah, uh, that is secondary, the notes there. So more important, if you just want to kind of hit the chords here, since we went through the chords, how they look, you can just hit the chords. Like this it would work perfectly fine but uh, if we just want to try to nail it play the melody clap after that all right and then this chorus ends of course again with the same chorus here a minor 
this melody here. Yeah, so of course the beat goes on even here. So that is the fourth chorus, differs a little bit from, from the other one since we brought in the beat here. All right. Uh, the fifth chorus here comes right after, and it's the same there with the with the with the claps there, and uh, the only difference here is that you're gonna play chords two times, so you uh, you wanna duplicate the chorus. It comes for two rounds this chord progression, and we have one new uh, thing here in this chorus. So instead of playing the the A minor at nine, uh, I mean uh, this part here, you will switch the A minor to an A. So um, it will be A major now, like this. So use an A here now instead of the minor. So how to handle this A here? You can just go through this chord here. So if you hold the full chord here, you can play the A string, the D string, the B, and the E. And then clap after that. And then the F major 7, you can use it in the same way. All right. So that is the difference here from the other courses switches to an A instead of A minor. All right, so let's go on in the song here, the fourth verse. It will be played in the same way as the first and second verse there. So nothing new there. And then comes this uh, last chorus here, number six. Um, in total, it will be for three rounds. So um, the first, round of this chorus, the first progression, the chord progression round, will be played in the same way as we learned in the chorus four there. And what, what I mean by that is the chords that is with A minor to F major seven, A minor to F major seven. And, and uh, the next two rounds, the final two rounds, will be the same as we just learned in the chorus five. Instead of the A minor, you switch them to the A to F. So in the first round will be... And the last two rounds... With the A. Alright, so in total three rounds in chorus 6. And the final part will be the outro there. Uh, it will be played in the same way as uh, in, the, in the chorus here, the same chords, the D minor 9, the B minor 11, E7, and with this A minor part, A minor, F major 7, A minor, and F major 7, for one round. And here, there's, yeah, very, you, you will go by feel here. You can play some strings from the full chord. I suggest you grabbing the full chords here, and you just play with the with the strings here and switch in the right time. By now you know when you need to switch the chords here. So uh, if you listen to the song, there's uh, uh, it's very alternating here. It goes back and forth on on the chords here and which strings you're using. So just play with now in the end of this song here, and then you're gonna go for two more rounds from this A to the F major seven, A to F major seven. Two rounds of that. And that is how this cool song from Sasha Keeble and Georgia Smith ends killing me. So yeah, good luck with this one. It's a bit tricky with the um, different, um, different style of playing here, especially I think for some of you guys, uh, when it comes to, to make it to your own, I mean, to use the chords we have, and build this um, different picking patterns here where when it where it's not like this given we have these parts that are really yeah you need to play like that and uh, some parts in this song you just need to let it go and play from the chords 
So yeah, it could be tricky, but it's also a good, uh, uh, good practice there to 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 use. So good luck with this one, and if you enjoy it, if if it was helpful, uh, let me know, and see you soon. Don't forget, guys, play tuned.